Huawei Pura 70 Ultra flagship phone just launched before few days, fast refresh rate adaptive OLED display, flagship retractable camera sensor, superb in design, fast wired and wireless charging and many more. Today I am going to show you review of Huawei Pura 70 Ultra in this video. I have already uploaded the unboxing and first impression video, you can find the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Hey guys Mikey from Tech Makey, please consider the subscribing and turning on the notifications by hitting that bell icon for more amazing tech videos. First, let's start with the design of the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. On the back of the phone, we once again find plain leather with diamond-shaped textures. The textures are quite consistent. The phone comes with a back cover in the box with the same textures, giving it a stylish look. It feels good to the touch. However, this cover does not cover the entire frame of the phone, leaving the frame susceptible to dents and scratches. Even after attaching the cover, the camera module remains exposed, so the cover doesn't provide protection to the camera module. In the box, you get a 100 watt charger with two outputs, Type A and Type C. The Huawei Pura 70 Ultra supports 100 watt wired charging and 80 watt wireless charging. It takes about 30 minutes to charge the battery from 0 to 100% using the wired charger, which is a little faster than the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. It also supports turbo charging. Looking at the design of the camera module, it differs from the Pro model, with the Zmage logo and flash located in the lower right corner. The design of the camera module is also unique, with a special shape structure. Overall, the phone has a very nice design, and the green color looks stunning. The frame of the phone comes in a gold color and is slightly curved. You can also see fingerprint marks on the frame. Compared to the Mate 60 Pro, the phone is narrower. It provides a good grip when holding the phone, and it can be comfortably held with a single hand. When you look at the front of the phone, you'll notice a slightly curved screen with all four sides also curved. The screen bezels are quite thin, and all four sides are almost uniform, resulting in a higher screen-to-body ratio. There is no green tint visible at the edges. The screen has a resolution of 1.5K, providing a very good experience for daily use. However, it's a bit disappointing that this price segment doesn't offer a 2K display. The display also offers accurate colors and provides a good viewing experience from the sides. It utilizes AT LTPO technology, ensuring good brightness. Additionally, there is a PWM dimming feature at low brightness levels. In comparison to the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, visibility under sunlight is significantly better. As for other features, the phone comes with an under-display fingerprint scanner. However, here you won't find an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor due to the sanctions on Huawei. Here, you won't find the 3D face unlock feature. Instead, there's a 2D face unlock feature that works well in low light. The phone also comes with stereo speakers, although they're not visible here as they are integrated into the bezels. Other features include an infrared sensor, NFC, and an IP68 water and dust resistant rating. Additionally, there's a satellite communication feature provided by China, offering dual satellite communication with Beidou and Tiantong, allowing for phone calls using these features. When it comes to the camera on the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra, the main camera features a 1-inch camera sensor, likely the IMX989. It comes with a variable aperture ranging from f1.6 to f4.0. Now, what's unique about the camera this time is the addition of a telescopic camera, which is quite a technological advancement. This telescopic camera is mechanical, but only time will tell how reliable it is. There's a concern about whether dust could cause it to get stuck. The main camera's specs this time are flagship level. Huawei's P-Series has consistently held the top position in DxOMark for several years. So, there shouldn't be any disappointment with this mechanical camera. You can compare it with the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra is in default mode. As mentioned, Huawei has used the IMX989 1-inch sensor this time, resulting in very good image quality. Please let me know in the comments section which photo you find sharper between the two samples. You can also zoom in to see the image quality. It seems like Huawei's camera is finally going to reach the top level. You can see the comparison in high-resolution mode. There is a slight difference between the two photos, the Huawei sample appears slightly dull compared to the 14 Ultra. However, upon zooming in, you can see that the Huawei sample captures better detail. The reason behind this is the high-resolution AI image. The effects of AI appear stronger compared to Xiaomi. 
Do you think it can beat the 200 megapixel image of Samsung's flagship phone, the S24 Ultra? Soon, I'll be bringing a camera comparison video with the Samsung S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So, subscribe and join our tech team to see the camera tests of all three flagship phones. In this sample, Huawei's results provide a lot of detail. This time, Huawei offers a 0.8x zoom, enabling shooting without cropping. Huawei provides a 24mm equivalent image, whereas the Xiaomi 14 Ultra offers a 23mm equivalent image. In terms of the ultra-wide angle, this time Huawei used a 40-megapixel camera sensor, the P60 Art, which comes with a 13mm equivalent length. Compared to the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, the viewing angle is slightly narrower. You can see the comparison of resolution with the Xiaomi 14 Ultra in default mode. Let me know in the comments which photo performs better. In the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra variant, you get a 50 megapixel telephoto camera, whereas in the Pura 70 Pro and Pro Plus, it's a 48 megapixel camera. Here, you get sharp photos like the P60. You can see the comparison with Xiaomi's 3.2x zoom. Because the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra has a longer focal length, the picture quality is better. In Huawei, you get a 5x zoom, but in this 5x zoom, Xiaomi provides better picture quality. You can also see photos with both at 10x zoom, and here too, Xiaomi offers better resolution. So, overall, Xiaomi's telephoto camera is better. However, you can see the telephoto macro effects, which are much better on the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. It has a minimum focus distance of 5 centimeters, which is closer compared to Xiaomi. Even in low light, the telephoto camera captures quite good images with nice macro effects, making the photos usable. In the same photo, Xiaomi lacks good contrast and shows a lack of focus, resulting in degraded image quality. When it comes to video shooting, this time Huawei has used the IMX989 sensor, which will provide very good quality in videos. You can shoot videos in 4K at 60 frames per second. In other phones, when switching the focal length, you may notice shutter issues. The front camera is a 13 megapixel ultra wide, and you can also shoot 4K video with it. This was the first impression video of the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra camera. Stay tuned, as I'll soon be bringing a detailed camera review. So, subscribe and join our tech team to be the first to watch the camera review. Speaking of the price, the base variant, which is the 16 gigabytes RAM and 512 gigabytes storage variant, starts at 99.99 Chinese Yuan in China, which is approximately 1,115 pounds in the UK and $1,380 in the USA. So what you guys think about it? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below if you have any questions. Also give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos, well as me signing off thanks for watching, have a great day and keep smiling, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.